Okay, so some other important ways of dividing up the nervous system, right, is the need, obviously, to sort of cut into the brain or the spinal cord to be able to uh, reveal structures that are located below, let's say, if we're talking about the cerebrum, below the level of the cortex, right, so subcortical structures. Um, and to do that, you know, you really have to cut through the brain. And so you can cut the brain along a number of different planes or sections, or planes of section is what they sometimes refer to it as. So you can cut, for example, if we take the, the brain like this, here's the frontal lobe, which is located at the rostral end, right? And we take a slice that cuts horizontally, you know, through this structure. Well, we are gonna be doing a cut along the horizon. This is called a horizontal section. And a horizontal section can go more, you know, dorsal, right, or superior, or it can go more ventral, or inferior, right? That's a horizontal slice. You can also cut right down, if I can do it right here, right down the middle of the brain, right? Like right in the middle. The middle portion of the brain is called the medial portion of the brain. As you go to the side, it gets more lateral. If you have a, a cut from, you know, the most rostral to the most caudal extent, you know, front to back like this, right? And it's middle, you call it a mid-sagittal or medial sagittal slice, right? You can also go more lateral sagittal, right? So you go med medial sagittal or more lateral sagittal. If you take a, a sagittal cut, you're only going to be revealing, you know, one hemisphere basically at a time. Because when you hit the middle, right, you're going to have to switch over to the next hemisphere. And those lateral slices will only be within a single hemisphere of the brain. You know, the brain, of course, has two hemispheres, right? A left and a right hemisphere. Um, the final sort of uh, plane of section that you can slice is actually uh, form sort of a corona around the brain, right? This is called a coronal cut. And a coronal cut, you know, goes from, you know, one side to the other, right? Um, and it can go more anterior or rostral, right? Or it can go more posterior or, uh, uh, or caudal, right, towards the tail end. Um, for all of these slices, you can also tilt them by some angle. This would be like a transverse you know, coronal slice or a, uh, let's say, a transverse sagittal slice, if I could do it sort of the side or a transverse horizontal slice. Uh, but these planes of sections are very useful for identifying, you know, structures that are located deeper uh, within the brain.